Hey everyone, it's Brian from Your Paranormal, it's Paranormal 101, so we're trying to start your paranormal adventure, and today's topic is flashlights. And I wanted to give you two basic examples of flashlights that you can get when you're starting out. So if you don't know, the first thing that you definitely wanna get uh, when you start your paranormal adventure, when you start getting into ghost hunting, is a good flashlight for yourself. This is a flashlight that you're gonna take when you go on flashlight tours, if you're joining a group when you go on the investigations or if you have your own group when you're leading investigations you always want to have one that's particularly yours and of course if you have a group maybe you're looking to get new flashlights for all of your members making sure you have a little stockpile or you're advising other members to get some but today we're just talking about two basic examples of flashlights now this could be a flashlight that you get from a local business or online or on amazon wherever it may be if you're looking for the more economical route, you might want to go uh, online or Amazon, but if you're trying to support local business, by all means. So this is the first type of flashlight. It actually has here, it extends. So this is like for, this is for like a basic room. You might want to have a regular flashlight. And then when you zoom it in, it goes for like hallways. And you know, the goal there is if you're trying to investigate a just a regular room, you have it on regular blast. And if you're trying to look down a hallway, like if someone says, yo, what's that, you know, crawling ghost down the hallway, you can just zoom right in on it. So that's the first one. They might run you right around 10 bucks a pop, maybe even a little less if you buy bulk. And these are the actual ones that we use for all of our members. And this is something that I just stumbled upon. So that's the first one. This is what I stumbled upon, however. It is uh, this like a bigger flashlight and it's got two different modes. It's the regular uh, brighter one and then the less bright one. And I never thought I would need such a, uh, how do I say it? It's like the high lumens, high luminescent, whatever. It's basically a, a stronger beam of light because you know, when you're ghost hunting, you might not want it too, too bright, but this is great for outside investigations. I never thought that it would come in super, super handy the one thing that I had in mind was, you know, if you're a leader of a group, if you're uh, potentially the team leader, and you especially need more visibility if you're leading uh, your specific team to a certain location, say, you know, you know, if the rotation is your team in the basement of Madison Seminary, you know, you're, you know, you're trying to get there, maybe you want to light up the entire hallway, just easy, and this could be like the team leader's flashlight or something, but. What I found was we actually went ghost hunting in the Allegheny Forest in Pennsylvania. And this thing lights up the forest so, so fantastic. Uh, absolutely wonderful. And of course, you know, we didn't spend a lot of time out there. We might've spent, you know, 20 minutes ghost hunting, you know, seeing if we see anything and then the rest of the time hiking, right? Um, and enjoying the night. But uh, for this particular, it, it's just a regular energizer and you know, I think if you're getting into the paranormal, you might want a really strong one. I think this ran about 20, 30 bucks, but it's a lot stronger. And you know, like the difference is those take three uh, AAAs, I believe. Um, and then this takes six double A's. So you can see the difference here. Let me actually double check for you. Um, so like these, you know, $10 ones, yeah, they're gonna be taking three AAAs where this takes six double A's. So there's definitely a difference in cost. And let me tell you something. I have my legacy flashlight. It's kind of like this. You know, you it, it it zooms in. Most of them zoom in online because it's like a big selling point. That's fantastic. You don't have to get a, a $20, $30 one. You can get an easy six, $8, $10 one. Uh, but if it's your first one, like if you're starting a paranormal adventure and you're just starting, I recommend you splurge just a little bit because it's gonna be your first flashlight ever and it's gonna carry a ton of memories with you. So hey, listen, that was Paranormal 101. I just wanted to give you two different examples of flashlights you can get when you're starting your paranormal adventure. Remember, a little more cheaper ones where that can zoom in and out. And then this one is the heavy duty one. I mean, if you ever walk the dogs outside, you can use it outside of ghost hunting for that. If you're ever outside, maybe on a, 
uh, a camping trip or a hiking trip, you can bring this. So it's got a lot more uses than just ghost hunting, but it, it could be your specific um, ghost hunting flashlight. But anyways, everyone, that was Paranormal 101. Have a fantastic Tuesday and have a fantastic rest of your week.